we are about to begin talking about the Industrial Revolution. What year did it begin, Mr. Hernandez? No one can give an exact date. It just slowly glides into place. For that reason, we need to look at the conditions that make the Industrial Revolution possible. Think of a car wreck or a train wreck. We can't say the moment the wreck started. And after the wreck, the first thing investigators do is look for the conditions that cause the wreck. Oh, you mean the causes of the wreck? People often say that. But a better word is conditions. What conditions are in place that lead to the wreck? We want to do the same thing as historians. We want to see what conditions are in place that lead to the Industrial Revolution. Causes I understand. Conditions. I'm not so sure I get what you mean. Conditions mean what has happened. What is already in place. At the time of the wreck, perhaps it is raining. The road is covered with water. That creates a slippery condition on the road surface. Enough water, and the car's tires could actually be traveling on the water not the road. That's called hydrofilling. Then we have the terrible wreck, the industrial revolution is not a wreck. Just the same, as an event, it happens because of conditions. So what are the conditions that cause the industrial revolution? Do you have any idea? Well, I think people really started to work for a change. Most people would say that is a bit of an unfair statement about the lives of people before the industrial revolution. I think it's a problem with how you put together your sentence. Tell me if I'm right. What you are saying is that people began to work in a different way. Yep. But they began to really work hard. I mean really hard. People have worked hard. Very hard through history. But the type of work they have done has changed throughout history. That's because changes like the Industrial Revolution are technological revolutions. Technological revolutions change the very basic way we work. Now I get what you're saying. I kind of meant that, but I guess I really didn't say that. It's important we think about what we say so people truly understand what we mean. When we don't do that we cause misunderstanding and when that misunderstanding is on your essay test question it costs points. Right now, let's move on. Let's see what we find to be the conditions that allow the industrial revolution to take place.